closed captioning. In this part, I am going to cover the necessary steps that you need to take in order to closed caption your videos. Closed captioning is necessary in order for us to comply with the Americans Disability Act, which is absolutely necessary if you're going to distribute your content to students in the California State University. I am going to start by showing you how to add closed captions in Camtasia and later on I'm going to show you how to do the same in YouTube. In both systems you're going to find some help. Both systems have an automated way of capturing your voice, translating it into text and then what you need to do is to just make sure that your voice was accurately captured. Very well, so for Camtasia, I'm going to bring forward this window. This window is showing right now the tutorial that I just prepared for the interactive table of contents. And as you can see, it has the different sections and you have here the representation of my voice throughout the video. A way for you to add closed captions is fairly easy. You need to go to this drop down menu over here and remember that this is changing all the time, it's dynamic and from here you're going to be able to choose captions. Whenever you do that, this window over here is going to appear and placing a caption is a fairly simple matter. You can just bring the head of the program to whatever you want to have that caption and you can click here and so type what away. I'm do is just expand the so this works like callouts and this caption can last a very long time or it can be very short and the next one can come uh, right after etc. Nonetheless, you can already see that this is a lot of work. So in order to avoid all this captioning by hand, we need to bring the head of the program all the way to the left side of the timeline. And in this window over here, we're going to find a button that says speech to text. That is exactly what we need to do. So I am going to click this button and Camtasia is going to engage into several processes that are going to transcribe what I said into captions. The first part is asking you for you to train the computer to understand your voice. And if you do this, the computer's ability to capture accurately what you're saying is going to increase. So I do recommend spending some time training your computer how your voice actually takes place and how to improve that accuracy. This is part of the Windows system and is not really part of Camtasia but it will interact very well with Camtasia once that you're done. In the meantime I'm just gonna click on continue and the audio is starting to be prepared for the process of transcription. Once that takes place the actual transcribing of the audio of your voice in the audio will start and it would be a fairly slower process. So I'm just going to let this move forward and I'm going to come back to it when it reaches about 99%. And there it goes. This might be quite a long process but it actually saves you a lot of time. And there it is. I'm going to momentarily take away this track so we have a little bit more space to work with. Now what you see here is the actual transcription of my voice into different captions. Now by now you have probably noticed that I still have an accent after living in the United States for 18 years and my recognition is not probably as accurate as it would be with a person whose first language is English. So I'm going to play the video and as the video plays the different captions are going to appear and if I need to do changes I'm going to make them so you see how this process takes place. Interactive table of contents. In this part I am going to show you what it is. So in this part I'm in this part comma I'm going to show you what is an interactive table of contents and I'm going to go back here and active table of contents. In this part, I am going to show you what it is, an interactive table of contents. And if you are not using the video that has the interactive table, and 
if you're not using the video that has an interactive table of contents. In this part, I am going to show you what it is an interactive table of contents. And if you are not using the video that has the interactive table of contents, I'm going to give you an example of what it is. I am going to give you I'm going to give you an example of what it is and what are the benefits of using one. This is one of my own projects for my students and I teach them how to download media legally from the internet and legally and so on. So this is the way in which you can just listen to your video, read that the captions are accurately describing what you're saying and by the end of it just be sure to save it and everything will be kept. So this is the way that you can go about making captions for your own videos so your students with disabilities can access them without problems. The second way of doing this is by doing the captioning through the automated system in YouTube. So what I'm going to do at this moment is to open one of the videos that I have prepared for these tutorials and I am going to prepare it in a similar way in which I did it with Camtasia. So I opened the video, I am logged in with my user account and I am going to press on the close captioning button. Here we go. I'm going to click on close captioning. The video is going to show me a couple of options for a language that it has registered in the video and if this has not happened yet it will ask you directly what language is the language that you use most and at that moment you're going to be able to specify the language and once that you get to a similar screen you're going to be able to click on automatic captioning. If you see this button in green it's going to be ready for you to click and go. This doesn't happen immediately when you upload the video to YouTube. It actually happens at a later time once that the video has been sitting in those servers for a long time and there has been enough time for them to be transcribed. So I am going to click first here just to show you that this gives you the option for English and then you have something very similar to what we found in Camtasia in which we can actually transcribe little by little everything that is being said in the video. Now what I would like to do is not to work on this so I am going to click directly on English Automatic. At this moment we're going to have once again as it happens in Camtasia a transcription of everything that I have said and the video is going to play and is going to allow me to change the text as we move forward. Focusing attention. I think that I would like to capitalize this or at least the word focusing. Click on edit and we are going to change this for a capital F and I just need to click somewhere away for that to remain as a permanent change. So I'm going to continue listening. In this part I am going to cover two ways to direct the attention recordings. The first one I have already the first one discussed in another part of these tutorials and it is by using and it is by using discussed in another part of these tutorials and it is by using your cursor. You so as you can see I have some uh, problems with the way I pronounce things but chances are if you are a native English speaker you will have a lot less issues with this automatic transcribing of your voice. Once that you are done you can come over here and click on publish. Everything has been saved so far. And at that moment when you share this video with your students they're going to be able to click on it and see the captioning taking place. 
now this button has over here the closed captioning and I can you can see it over here and you can enable it or disable it with this. In this part I am going to cover two ways to direct the attention of your students to different things in your recordings. So these are the two ways in which you can close caption your videos and therefore you're going to be complying with the Americans Disabilities Act. And if you go through the training that was provided at the beginning of this process, you're going to be able to train your computer to become a lot better at understanding what it is that you're saying and transcribing it in an accurate way.